Good day, viewers. My name is Dr. Solomon A.K. Mababudua. How's your day going? It is where with you. I like us to talk about giving. Give. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. And another one is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only. Some of us have more than. We have multiple. We have plenty that even if we share, it will not finish. But because we find it difficult to give. And we claim to be in love. Out of the multiple, out of the plenty we have. You say, ah, no, I don't want to give. Some of us don't even know how to give naturally without someone asking. Now someone is asking you, knowing that you have. So now share becomes so difficult. And you claim to love this person. Especially husband and wife. Especially mother or parents to children. Children to parents. You as a child. Your parents have invested so much in you. But now for you to at least give little. As in little. is difficult. Husband and wife. Your wife need something and you have it wife your husband needs something and you have it but to share become problem Biko, please what is love without giving let us let us meditate on this word love and giving and the one that link with the word for god so loved the one and gave us his only begotten son what do you have in this life that god has not given you Whatever we have in this life, God has given us. And if God give us, you not find it difficult to give to somebody that you say you love. It is because God loves us. That's why he gave us those things that we have. Just like children, you will give a gift to a small child. You are the one that is giving this child, though, and you will not say, give me. The child will be like, no, hiding the hand behind. It is you that has given you. Know, so, I want to encourage us, husband, wife, or whoever that is watching this video, that if you claim to be in love, if you claim to love somebody, no matter how little, no matter how small, learn to share, learn to give, learn to give. Some men will want their wife to give them, to give their body from air to toe, January to December. And to appreciate in return, no, we are not selling it. We are not selling our body. But appreciate your spouse. It's because your women, woman love you as a man. That's why he's able to give a body. It's because a, a man love you as a wife. That's why he's able to give his body. When you, whatever you have, share it. It will not finish. The more, the more you give out, the more it comes. So please, let us learn to share. Let us learn to give. Don't be stingy. Some men, your wife will do everything, walk, walk around the clock. For you to, to even use the word mouth, your mouth to even give appreciation. It becomes problem. But when you see a babe or whoever, the chick outside, doing little one quarter of what your wife is doing at home, you, you will want to give everything you have. Let's appreciate each other. Let's give. Let's learn to give. Don't be stingy. Don't be a stingy man. Don't be a stingy woman. When you love, if you claim to love me with your mouth, love me with your money. Whatever you have that you cannot share with your spouse or your or somebody that you claim to, to love, then is is I don't want to use the word that is coming to my mouth. Give and it shall be given unto you. Learn to give. Don't be stingy. You are complaining. My wife is not responding. You are complaining. My husband is not doing well. The one he has done, what did you have to say? What even just to use your mouth? Ah, thank you. The word thank you too is, I'm giving you my word. Learn to give. Please let us not be stingy. Let's not be, let us not be stingy. Giving is good. Please meditate on this word. For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. I love you and that is why I'm giving you my word of advice. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. Let's hear what you have to say about giving. Thank you.